Okay, so those are the uh, mounting press that we're going to use. Okay, Bueller. They already have some configuration here. Okay, so we don't need to change any of that. Uh, they are already configured, both of them. Okay. So basically, here we don't need to change any in the video. So basically, the machine, what it does is a preheating, some compression, and some cooling time. And this is the pressure. So that's set. We don't need to change any of that. Uh, for some reason, if this is not configured properly, you need to let me know so we can just reset all of these parameters. But they are already set, so we don't need to do anything, okay? So the only thing to know about the menu is just this up and down button. So basically, the ramp is going to move up and down, as you see there. Nothing, nothing crazy, okay? So basically, the, in this uh, station is where we are going to place our sample. Obviously, the face that we want to polish needs to be down, uh, touching the, the metal, okay, the base metal here. And uh, we are going to use these powders, which are the regular backlight, okay? So basically what we do is taking a, a, some amount of these powders, depending on the size of your sample, just filling with some uh, with your sample powders, and after that you close the machine to, to start the process, okay? So hold me here, please. So let me just see one of the first samples. So we have different samples. Let's start by order the test that we call test one. So the first thing, you always need to check the surface. So when you cut a sample, sometimes they have a little bit of uh, uh, extra chip, chip that come from the cut, and they are kind of out of the plane. If that happened, if you see it here, you, you want to see it like this, right? If you see it like this, sometimes it's a little in an angle. So let's just, it's a little in an angle, so it's not properly touching. So what, usually what I do is I just file the surface. You know, if you see like any any uh, edge or something, what I do is I come here to these angle stations and just file, you know, in different ways. So we have 600 to 200, so cores to co uh, fine mesh and just file the edges, just to make sure that we don't have any, you know, extra piece, so the plane is flat there. So that's the first inspection that we need to do. And after that, basically, we set, set the sample with the surface that we want to polish down, touching the, the the base. And we start the lowering, right? Now, also important to remember, always make sure that the, the, the machine is clean. When you are done, you need to clean the machine. But always, you know, sometimes the machine is dirty. So we need to make sure that the machine is clean, there is any of these plastic particles around. So I just place my sample, okay? And I start to lower the ramp. So the sample start to go down. Now, I'm going to prepare my powders here. and. I mean, that depending on the experience. Usually I use, for uh, big samples, I use 20, uh, in this case, milliliters of the of the resin. In this case, because the sample is tiny, we are going to use 30 or 35, you know? It doesn't need to be exact, but it should be around here or here. Now, you don't want, like, two tiny samples when you are done, and you don't want to tall neither, because both, most, some, both, of, both of them are inconvenient, so I just want to... Since these are approximately 30 there, milliliters. So I'm going to start to add the powder, so I check there and see, make sure that it's all the way around, and I start to lower the ram as well. Make sure that you collect it, and just, yeah. and just keep going. Okay. Oops. And you go all the way down until the machine kind of screams at that point. That point is the minimum, the lower point of the ram, okay? So at that position, we are ready to close. So we have this cap, the bottom. Important that always needs to be clean here, so you need to make sure that it's clean. We have also a blade to remove sometimes sticky particles. So make sure that first it's you know aligned to the hole, and you don't need to force anything. It needs to be smooth. If something looks like really tight, let me know because could be some problem in the you know in the, in the system. It needs to go easily down, push a little bit all the all, all in, and after that, 45 degrees until this uh, mark. You see this aligned handle here. So you don't need to tie all the way. Just from uh, the, this position to uh, 45 degrees without doing any crazy like force. If you feel that something is stuck, probably something wrong. So you need to let me know, okay? It needs to be easy. So at this point everything is set. So what we what we come is here to the machine and just uh, starting the process. So if you uh, go close here, start the cycle. So we just click this button. And basically start, start the first cycle, which is heating time. So it's gonna go heating, holding up this pressure, and after that cooling time running some water. And that's it. Okay, now the cycle is done, right? Complete. So what we're gonna do is, gonna take it out. So same procedure, but without forcing the machine. So we are going to move it back 45 degrees. And sometimes it doesn't come by itself because it's kind of sticky. So we use the, the up button to move the ramp up. And it's going to pop up by itself. Okay, make sure obviously that it's open. Don't start to push it with its jaws. And you see the sample is coming there. Okay, so you have your sample and the sack. Now you see that it's a little dirty, so that's the part that you need to clean. Okay, so make sure that we use brush to clean and also the blade to remove all of the sticky parts here before starting the next process. And the other thing you notice that there is some sharp edges. That, I mean, they are annoying, especially for your hands. They can just scratch you. So what usually what I do is I just remove that manually as well in the, in the sand paper. So I just go around. And just remove a little bit this uh, sharp edge, just to avoid cut your, your fingers. But you see that the, uh, the height is around, you know, 
three quarters or one inch, which is the desired uh, height. If you put too much backlight, it's going to be too tall. It's going to be difficult to If you put too little, it's going to be too short. It's going to be also a problem. So, you know, depending on the size, you can just kind of change your composition, your amount. Now, the last, the last step is just placing the, before we forget, the main. So we use the uh, engraver pin, engraver. So I'm going to put here the, I'm going to call you. So we can we can you know identify the sample. So that's it. We have our first our first sample. So make sure that you place it in, you know, just to keep everything in the same place, the back. We are done with the first. 